Welcome to Circuit Master Class, your go-to channel for everything in power systems, transmission, and distribution engineering. Don't forget to check out circuitmasterclass.com for in-depth blogs and bonus content. We have provided the website link below in the description. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to discuss the opening and closing operations of circuit breakers. We will explain the following terms. Opening time. Breaking time. Arcing time, making time, closing time, pre-arcing time. All these terms related to the operation, including opening and closing sequences of circuit breakers, have been explained in detail. Let's get started. This is the contact portion of a circuit breaker. This is the fixed contact. That lower one is the fixed contact and that upper one is the moving contact. Now at this point, this is the closed position of the contact and this closed position is indicated by this straight line. This straight line indicates this horizontal straight line indicates the closed position of the contact. Now suppose at that point the opening release is actuated. I mean the opening release is energized. As soon as the opening release is energized the breaker will not open because there will be a slight movement of the hinges, levers, gears and associated latches before the actual opening of the circuit breaker. Before the actual movement starts by the moving contact. The time required to actuate the moving contact after energization of the opening release cannot be avoided due to the linear and rotational movement of different parts of the mechanism associated with the movement of the opening moving contact. At this point, say this is the instant when the moving contact gets finally separated from the fixed contact, physically and finally separated from the fixed contact. And this is the current that is flowing through the closed contact. But here, you see, after physical separation of the contact, there will still be arcing that continues to sustain the current through the contact. So current cannot be physically interrupted immediately after physical separation of the contact. Now at that point, after physical separation of the contact, the contact is still moving. The contact is still moving backward from the fixed contact and the contact gap is increasing. And this inclined line indicates the movement of the moving contact away from the fixed contact. After a certain distance, say at that instant, the arc finally extinguishes. That means the current is finally interrupted. So this is the opening time, which means the time between energizing the opening release and starting the separation physical separation of the contacts in the circuit breaker. And this is the arcing time, which is initiated as soon as the moving contact gets separated from the fixed contact and the arc starts to the final instant when the arc is finally extinguished. And this is called the arcing time. So the current continues until the arcing time is finished. So when the coil is energized, it means the opening operation gets started and finally, when the arc is extinguished, it means the current is interrupted. We can consider that finally the current gets interrupted and the opening operation is electrically completed. So this time is called the break time. Why do we call it electrically completed? Because here the current is finally interrupted but the movement of the moving contact will still continue. And at that point, finally, it gets stopped at the open position of the circuit breaker. So breaking time means, again, I am saying, initiation of opening release to the actual interruption of the current is nothing but this time plus that time. Meaning, opening time plus arcing time. Now we come to the closing time of a circuit breaker. 
This horizontal line represents the open position of the circuit breaker. At this moment, the closing circuit is energized. But even when the closing circuit is energized, that is, when the closing pulse reaches the closing coil, the circuit breaker does not begin its closing operation immediately. This means that the moving contact does not start moving towards the fixed contact right away. This delay is due to the time taken for mechanical movement to propagate through different hinges, levers and gears before reaching the moving contact. After a short delay, the moving contact begins to move towards the fixed contact. As the moving contact approaches the fixed contact, but just before touching, an arc initiates due to the high voltage gradient across the very small gap between the contacts. This high electric field causes the dielectric medium between the contacts to break down, resulting in arc initiation. As the arc is initiated, current starts to flow through the breaker, even though the contacts have not yet physically touched. Shortly after that, the contacts physically touch and the current continues to flow normally. The time from when the closing circuit is energized to the initiation of the arc is called the making time. The time from arc initiation to the physical contact is called the pre-arcing time. Therefore, the closing time is the sum of making time and pre-arcing time. So, closing time is defined as the interval between the energization of the closing circuit and the moment the moving and fixed contacts physically touch. Now, let's define breaking time. It is the total time taken to completely interrupt the current after the opening release. Trip coil is energized. So, breaking time equals opening time plus arcing time. Closing time equals making time plus pre-arcing time. Why is this portion called making time? Because during this period, although the contacts have not physically touched, current starts flowing through the breaker due to the arc. Hence, it is called making time. The circuit breaker makes the circuit by allowing current flow even before full mechanical closure. Similarly, breaking time refers to the time taken to completely interrupt current after the opening release is energized, even though the breaker has not yet physically completed its opening operation. Hope you got the idea. Thank you. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and tap the notification bell. Got questions or want us to cover a specific topic? Leave a comment. Thank you.